What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to take a look at the Cooper Carbine and uh, go into the stats to see what the best class is for the gun within Vanguard Multiplayer. If you do like this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what gun you want to see next. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, first thing we're going to take a look at is... This uh, chart that I made using stats compiled by Exclusive Ace, True Game Data, and J God. Um, uh, this just shows the time to kill charts with um, uh, the Cooper Carbine uh, with the different caliber rounds. So, as you can see, we have the base Cooper Carbine right here. And like this is the time to kill, so like the lower it is on the chart, the better. Base Cooper Carbine right in the middle in comparison to the 9mm. It's going to kill slower than the 9mm at range and the uh, point, um, uh, .30 Carbine rounds. And it's like right in the middle of the two for the, the base in the mid range. So really all around the um, point .3 Carbine is the best. But... You're going to want to, because uh, what you can see here down the bottom, this chart, it says the, the fire rate does decrease um, when you equip larger ammo, just like most guns in the game. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to probably want to use attachments like the compressed rounds, like the increased fire rate going to want to use a barrel maybe the recoil booster to increase that fire rate so it becomes more consistent so if you do miss a shot or two there's not going to be so much of a penalty to uh like hitting your shots like there's not gonna be a penalty in between like your shots hitting because the slower the, slow the fire rate the more unforgiving the gun is so that's why Overall, it's the best in the game. I mean, it's the best out of the uh, three. But you're going to want to make sure you increase that fire rate to the to a point where it's still controllable. But just just enough to where it's a little more forgiving. You can see we also increase the bolt velocity. And yeah, let's get into the class setup. So this is what I currently run on my Cooper Carbine whenever I'm playing multiplayer. Um, uh, we use the Carbine like 45 round mags. We, you want to use that. The um, 9mm is not worth it in my opinion. Unless you're going for max fire rate. If you're going for max fire rate, then you can do that because it also does help your recoil control. Because most things when you like boost that fire rate. It's going to hurt your recoil control, but at least this, with the like smaller caliber rounds, it will help your um, uh, control. So use that ammo type, or use that magazine. Then I put on the recoil booster because, I, again, I want to get that fire rate a little bit back up there to really compete in that close range because uh, it's more forgiving, as I said earlier. I'm going to do the uh, hand stop to help that recoil control a little bit more because we are again putting on a larger caliber round and we want to increase that accuracy so we have less bloom for the barrel i put on the 22 inch custom barrel to make it more controllable again boost that fire rate without going to the gracie rapid because you can see that it hurts accuracy and then in the stats over here there's that recoil control you don't want to really hurt recoil control much so and like look at the difference even though it's up by like a hundred rounds per minute with the greasy rapid compared to this one, that could, you don't want your control to be that bad. So that's why I put that on. Then what I do, I put on, I generally always go for the slight reflector. You can obviously, this is all preference, but generally if you're trying to stay competitive, you want to use some sort of like, Reflex, holographic kind of thing. Maybe one of these like 1.5 zooms. 
then I put on the skeletal stock because that helps with my sprint to fire and movement speed. Just so I can feel a little more like an SMG. So I'm not punished as much in those close range engagements. I go for the rubberized grip or the rubber grip for a little more recoil control. Because the gun, as you can tell in the details, 300 for an AR is pretty solid. So I'm okay with that. If you if you feel like the recoil is just fine, then you can go with, um, what grip is it? The, uh, <laughs> where? You can go with the fabric. That's fine. I would go with the fabric. If you're trying to go for like more mobility, I go for vital as my proficiency because like, you can go for this one for accuracy and recoil during sustained ADS. That's a good option. I feel like I'm trying to maximize that damage. I'd go for critical and again, compressed rounds. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I'm going to say it again. I you know, just increase that fire rate a little bit more. It's going to be kind of beneficial. You can go for hollow point if you do want, but it will hurt um, but your effective damage range a little bit. Not These aren't too good. I'd go with on hand, just less downtime after using equipment. Like Can't go wrong with that. Thank you guys for watching this video, though. If you do enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.